normal this morning compared to 30% on the last 24-hour bus ride. That's figures from TfL this morning. And as Valentine's Day approaches, how about a grisly art installation to get your heart racing? Regrets by Robin Lee sees bloody human hearts depicted with words of regret tattooed onto them. As if that wasn't gory enough, the backdrop to this art piece is Bart's Pathology Museum, where human bodies, body parts and a wide range of genetic defects have been preserved for medical science. Now, if you're a bit squeamish or perhaps you're eating your breakfast, you're advised to look away about now. A compound, a substance composed of two or more elements chemically combined in definite proportions by weight. The inspiration actually came from an argument that I witnessed last Valentine's Day in my street. I went out to buy a bottle of milk. Um, I saw a couple arguing and the, and the woman posed a question to the man and she said, what do you regret about this relationship? And he said, having the word useless written across my heart. I augmented him with a tattoo gun and also uh, just by embellishing him with paintings and stuff. And then I took photos of him and I printed them and had them huge. So there's, there's contemplation on the part of the users. So the people who are going to be seeing the slow show tonight, which is all sold out, um, they're going to be, hopefully, everyone's going to walk away with a bit of contemplation and maybe having to rethink the way they go about their lives. It's all about, it's, it's all about the contemplation after they've seen the work. That's one. Calcium, CA, plus two. In the time of no photographs, uh, you only had drawings of specimens or you had actual specimens. So there was a real reason for it then. Um, nowadays, we, as I said before, we tend to find that we're ha having a sort of comeback of different diseases. So medical students nowadays aren't seeing certain diseases. Um, so without specimens like this to show them what they're like, um, they wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> There was an old unsolved murder case, um, a man who was found burned in a car and a histology slide was taken in the 40s and that was looked at. It was helpful for the family. It turned out that the slide was not of who they thought it was, but that gave them some closure in a way because they'd always thought this person, the murder victim, was their family member. But it's also the fact that it is actually about mortality and it makes us think of our own mortality, the fact that our life will come to an end, and when it does, how do we want to be remembered? And that is what this place is. It is a cathedral dedicated to the memory of the dead. People assume that if you're a mortician or you work with the dead, that you must be really miserable. And it's my personal opinion that we, um, we actually have a better grasp of life and how fantastic it is and how, how easy it is to just, you know, have it ended. And also, um, quite a few studies have been done on the psychology of thinking about your own mortality, and apparently it is good for your mental health. So, you know, maybe it's a positive thing. There we are. Nothing says romance like a few pickled hearts. I still had this morning the latest headlines.